each and every moment I am devoting to you. My work is long ago finished as far as I am concerned. I am living for you. Each moment I am creating devices for you. My hope is to spread the fire around the world up to now greatest Buddhas have remained confined to very small places. For example, Gautam Buddha, the greatest, remained confined to a small state, Bihar, never went out of Bihar. Perhaps I am the only one who is concerned with the whole world. And I would like in every country hundreds of Buddhas. And it is so simple that it can be done. Just a little support from your side, Ananda. It cannot be done against you. It can be done only if you are open, available, waiting for it. Then it is going to happen the transmission of the lamp this time is going to happen to millions of people. Those old Buddhas had a very small company. My company is worldwide. I don't belong to any nation, to any religion, and I don't want you to belong to any nation or to any religion. I want you to belong to the whole universe. And spread the fire. Whatever experience you gain here, I cannot move. I wanted to move around the world, the remaining life. But every country thought that I am the dangerous man. And I will not say that they are wrong. I am the dangerous man. But it does not matter whether I go or not. I can remain here in my room and those who have the potential of becoming Buddhas will reach to me from every nook and corner of the world and will carry the fire around the world, spreading it. This time is very ripe time. Either the Buddha is going to win or the ugly politicians are going to destroy the whole earth, the whole life 
whole contribution of all the poets, painters, sculptors, dancers, mystics, they are ready to destroy any moment. Only one thing can prevent them from destroying the world and that is spreading meditation, silence, love, joy, dance, making the whole life a celebration, a continuous ongoing festival.